Okay, so about 2,000 years ago, Euclid wrote down a fantastic way to make an equilateral triangle just using a straight edge and a compass. And today I want to show you a, an online app um, on something called GeoGebra, which allows you to do similar kinds of uh, so, sort of straight edge and compass constructions, but for hyperbolic geometry in the Poincaré disk. So um, let me just start by showing you Euclid's classic um, construction of the equilateral triangle. I'll show you the hyperbolic, hyperbolic analog of that. So if we go to this website, this GeoGebra Tube website, this was made by um, Soundman Brad. And um, here's how you do Euclid's trick in the hyperbolic plane. So let's just start with a point. Now we're going to do a hyperbolic circle around that point. This is a kind of hyperbolic analog of an ordinary circle. Notice that it's not actually centered around A from our perspective, although it is from the perspective of a Poincaré disk. Anyway, um, so now we'll do a similar thing, we'll draw another circle centered around B passing through A um, in the hyperbolic sense. Now let's find the intersection points. Okay, so now we can do these hyperbolic lines um, passing through these points. So now let's just hide these circles. And what we've actually got here is a hyperbolic analog of a triangle. So it's pretty neat, I guess. Um, now what I want to do is to show you how you can do some more interesting tilings of a hyperbolic plane. Kind of like these um, pictures you might see by Escher. Um, I'll show you how you can make those using this app, um, using nothing but um, hyperbolic lines and hyperbolic circles. So before we can start, we've just got to set a couple of things up. Let's um, find the midpoints of this object. Points in the middle. And let's uh, draw a line segments and let's find the middle again and now we're going to draw a hyperbolic circle which is a hyperbolic, a hyperbolic analog of a circle centered around A and passes through this bit point Okay, so we're ready to begin. Let's start now by drawing the hyperbolic circle centered around C that passes through A. Okay, so I noticed that this doesn't look like an ordinary circle. I mean, it, it doesn't look like it's centered around this point C. Um, and this is the kind of thing you expect when you're uh, doing geometry on the Poincaré disk. Things look a little bit distorted. Anyway, let's clean this up. Uh, we don't want to have too much clutter, so we'll hide a couple of these things. And now we can begin. So let's just start by drawing some hyperbolic circles. Well, in fact, let's find the intersection point here between these two circles. Okay, so we'll draw a hyperbolic circle like this. Find the intersection point. And a hyperbolic circle like this. Find the intersection point. And continue in a similar way. More hyperbolic 
circles or intersection points. Okay then, and so now we've got this nice uh, this nice pattern going on here. Okay, so I think that's enough information. So now we can actually start to um, do some tessellations. We've got all our points. Um, so now let's rub out all these circles. Um, it's fairly easy. We'll just hide them all. And now we can put in our hyperbolic line segments. So if we add some more hyperbolic line segments uh, from this editor here, um, then we have these triangles. So we're beginning to tessellate the Poincaré disk with triangles. Okay, so now let's continue our tessellation by drawing a hyperbolic circle centered around E that passes through C. Um, and now we can continue a little bit like before. So now we want to draw a similar kind of uh, construction centered around E. So uh, we make some more circles. And we can find some intersection points. some more circles. So, uh, fortuitously, everything seems to have matched up quite well. So now if we just rub out these circles. There's one. some line segments in.
Okay, so um, what you should be able to see here is that what's going on is that we're tiling the hyperbolic plane with these triangles, which are essentially, um, in the hyperbolic sense, equilateral triangles. Well, let's say uh, equal triangles, regular triangles. Um, and we have seven of them meeting at every point, which is kind of interesting. Because uh, in the plane, this is obviously impossible. Uh, in the plane, you can tessellate the plane with triangles, uh, regular triangles, where uh, six triangles meet at every point, but not with seven. There isn't enough space. But in hyperbolic geometry, we can obviously do this. And uh, we can continue this kind of pattern uh, and extend it and um, you know, make some of these lovely Escher-style pictures.